Hi guys, this is Beekeeper Charlotte at CarolinaHoneybees.com. I hope everybody is up and off to a great start today. I got up really early today. I have been in my bee yard doing an oxalic acid treatment and feeding bees. And while I was up there, I discovered something that I thought I would try to share with you. One of my colonies is dead. It's what most of the people that I know call a dead out. A dead out is a colony that's gone. And, I mean, you'll have dead bees in there. You may or may not have brood. A dead out is just a dead colony. What do you do when this happens? Well, you don't cry, although I have. Um, the first thing you do is try to decide if you have any idea of why this colony died. You can go back, and I will go back in the house and look in my inspection notes and see the story behind this hive. But the first thing we want to do is to look in here and see if we see any signs of disease. And I have looked in here, and I have not seen any signs of disease. This comb, I'm going to, I don't know if you can see it, but we'll try. This is a fairly good, um, piece of honeycomb that the bees have drawn out. I do not see any dead brood. I do not, you look for uncapped or capped brood. Yes, Leslie, I have cried before. You look for capped brood or, or dead larva. Uh, we worry about a disease called American fowl brood. It is a spore forming bacteria that can live inside the hive for up to 50 years. So that's something we always look out for when we have a hive that dies, or you have to be aware of that possibility when you buy used equipment. So as I go through here and look, I'm looking for diseased brood. I don't see that. But what I also don't see is brood of any kind. And if memory serves me right, and I certainly can't rely on that, I believe this was a swarm I captured. And the reason I think that is because I have some darker comb in here. See how dark this is? Comb turns dark over time. It just gets stained from all the little bee footprints and the propolis and the pollen. When comb gets old like that, I generally cull it out. I will cut the old comb out of the frame. Good morning, Joe. And I will put fresh beeswax foundation in there. And because this colony has several frames of old comb, I keep a few just in case. I should get rid of them, but I just can't bring myself to. I keep a few in case I catch a swarm and I don't have anything to put them on. They tend to like this. They'll stay on this better than they will foundation sometimes. So this colony had several frames of old comb. So that tells me that when I go back and look in my notes, I'll bet you that this was a swarm that I have caught. Now, I have gotten lucky on one thing in that in just a couple of weeks during warm weather, if a colony dies out and you don't have bees there to protect the comb, you will have small hive beetles and wax moths move in. Now it's a bad thing to have a colony die because we certainly do not want that to happen, but it's even worse to lose this valuable resource of drawn comb. This is nice comb, and this would be really great uh, if you buy a new package of bees in the spring Rather than having to put them on foundation, you could put this in there, and it really gives them a big boost. Now, I've got to find some way to protect this, because wax moths are still out doing their thing. And if I just take this box and sit it back somewhere, it, it's going to be destroyed. So, the best thing to do, if you only have a few frames, a few hives that you want to do this with, is to place this in a freezer and let it freeze for two or three days. Then you can take it out and store it in a well-lit space, like my open air shed. I have an open air shed. I did have to put chicken wire around it because of those rascally raccoons. 
because in the middle of the winter, those raccoons would get in there and eat my comb. We had a little battle one year, and so I have chicken wire, but I have an open air shed. So you, that's where I'll store this after I freeze it. And I will sit it up, I will sit the whole thing, I don't know if I can show you without all my video stuff. I will set it up like this. And this allows air, light and air, to move through the comb. That will not completely prevent wax moth larva, but it will reduce it. So, if I don't have room to leave it in the freezer, and I don't, then I will put it here under my open air shed. And hopefully, next spring, if I catch a swarm, or I buy a package of bees, I will be way ahead of the game with my drawn comb for them. Now, the really dark comb that's really black, I will recycle this. I may keep one or two for an emergency for a swarm, but I will cut this out sometime during the winter, throw away the wax because this old brood wax, it's not just wax, it also has cocoons that was left from the baby bees. It does not make good candle mac wax because one time I did try to melt some and you get a little bit of wax out of it but oh gosh it stinks so I don't do that anymore so I will, will re, uh, reuse my frames throw away the old dark wax freeze my nice wax and store it in my open air shed for next year so you know, Ross Conrad wrote the book on natural beekeeping. He is one of the nicest guys I've ever met. And I spoke with him at a conference in Greenville a few years ago. And he said, any time that you have a hive die, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to try to figure out what happened. I will never know what happened, but I believe because there's no brood in here, I believe that colony that I put in here failed to have a queen. Either the queen failed and they could not make a new queen for some reason, or they tried to requeen and were unsuccessful. And because I've been busy with so many other things this year, and it's been hot, 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 I have not looked at my bees like I should. And when that goes unnoticed, it, things can go bad in a hurry. It doesn't take but just a few weeks for things to turn bad. And sometimes, and I've had it happen to me too, we not only lose our bees, we lose that drawn comb. And as you go through your experience as a beekeeper, you will come to know how important drawn comb is. It is very important. It really gives your bees a bump. So I'm going to put all my stuff away and take a shower because I'm tired, people. And I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget, feed your bees if they need it. It's going to get cold and it's going to be too late. And then it's going to be too late. So I hope you guys have a great day. This is Beekeeper Charlotte from CarolinaHoneybees.com. Bye.